Oh. Hello YouTube, Sentinel Age here for episode 29 of my Rotary Craft tutorial series. So last episode we talked about the force field and the containment field, and in this episode we're going to take a look at the anti-air gun. Alright, it should be pretty obvious by the title what the anti-air gun actually does. It is an anti-air gun, but it is quite expensive and it does require quite a few other components. So let's take a look at how to craft it. Um, one of the things you're going to need is a turret base, and this is the easiest component to make. And the turret base is simply two base panels, a 2x gear unit, and a steel gear. Very simple. All right. Next thing you're going to need is the turret aiming unit, but in order to get that, you're going to need these two components. You're going to need a generator and a radar unit. The generator is crafted quite simply with a shaft core and two gold coils. All right? Remember we uh, took a look at the gold coils when we made the AC engine. Yes. Um, you're also going to need the radar unit, which is crafted with a DC electric engine, two redstone dust, a gold ingot, and three steel ingots. All right, that gives you the radar unit. Then you need to craft the actual turret aiming unit, which is crafted like this. The generator, four steel ingots, a diamond, two circuit boards, and the radar unit. So this is quite an expensive little chip right here. <coughs> okay. Then you can craft the anti-air gun, like so. The turret base, the turret aiming unit, a compressor, two liquid pipes, and three steel ingots. That gives you the anti-air gun, which looks pretty darn cool. Here we can see our anti-air gun right here. When you first place it, it doesn't point up in the air like that. It kind of looks like that. All right, it's pretty cool looking. Okay. All right. So the anti-air gun. How do we use it? Well, if you look at the tool tip right now, it says there's no ammunition. That's right. You do have to supply this with ammo. This is basically, as the handbook describes it, a cheaper alter uh, alternative to a rail gun. Okay cheaper version of the railgun. The anti-air gun fires scrap at only at flying mobs from a base defense, okay? So it doesn't deal a lot of damage, but it does fire very quickly. Um, but you need to supply it with scrap, and that needs to be steel scrap. There's two kinds of scrap. There's steel scrap and iron scrap, and iron scrap doesn't work. It needs to be steel scrap. I tried iron scrap, and it wouldn't fire. Okay? Now how do you get steel scrap? Well, there's a couple of different ways to get steel scrap. The one way you get steel scrap is by finding it in chests, in dungeons, and in uh, various places. You can find steel scrap if you have rotary craft installed. Um, the, you can also craft steel scrap quite easily. And uh, I don't have my crafting square, so let me just grab a crafting bench. By placing shaft units and base panels and you can't use steel ingots or gears. There's also some other things you can put in here. You can make, uh, a, you can put a gear unit in here to get scrap out of it. You can also get scrap out of various other things. So scrap is not e hard to get. It's just, if I look at the recipe here, you know, steel gears, gear units even. You can get a lot of scrap if you break down steel. Uh, steel. But there's no, no real reason to do this unless you have well, unless you accidentally made one of these items that you didn't mean to make and you don't have anything to use it on and you don't want to keep it around, make it the scrap, feed it into the gun, you can do that. But that's how you get the scrap. So uh, get yourself a bunch of scrap because this thing fires very quickly. That's a lot of scrap, holy cow. This thing fires really fast. You, obviously you're not going to need this much scrap. Uh, and it's only... Remember that this is an anti-air gun, so it's only going to be useful if you're being attacked by flying mobs. Alright. Okay. So, now we've got the anti-air gun placed down. We've got it steel scrap loaded in. We don't have any power. So how much power does this require? It requires 65 kilowatts at 1024 newton meters. Okay, that's the power output of the gas engine. But you are going to have to use uh, gearboxes to change this torque from 128 to the 1024 that it requires, okay? I have that here with my coil. 65 kilowatts, 1024. That's at 64 radians per second. All right, now our anti-air gun is operational. It needs something to shoot. There was a bat fluttering around here, but the anti-air gun will not attack bats because bats are not hostile mobs. However, if I go up here to this angel block, 
and I spawn a gas, and right now it's kind of glitched because it's kind of in the block. The anti-air gun begins firing at the gas, and it deals two damage per shot, but it fires really fast, as you just saw. Let's do that again. It's got a pretty good range. Of course, once the, the gas got, uh, you know, at long range, maybe it... You know, it, it might miss because uh, the, the, the mob might move a little bit, but still, the anti air gun very effective. Okay, and you know, this works on any uh, flying mob. I'm not going to spawn an ender dragon or something crazy like that, but it'll fire at flying mobs. Okay, um, so that's the anti air gun. There is one more thing to say about the anti air gun is that you can actually place it upside down. All right, so if I have this sort of a thing and I place the anti air gun. If I whack it with a screwdriver, well, uh, not while holding shift, just whack it, it'll flip upside down. Okay? So now I can place um, power on this side. Alright, but remember the orientation of this anti air gun is important. So let's just grab this uh, bevel gear and a coil, and we'll just hook this up real quick. I should have done this already. Yeah anti-air gun. Remember, cyan is the output for the bottom. We'll grab scrap out of this one. Throw it into this one. Take our coil and a lever. And uh, It's the wrong coil. It gave me the wrong coil. I guess I, I have to pull it out of the uh, uh, crafting thingy. I mean the uh, creative thingy. Okay, so that was 64, 10, 24. Operational. Now if we spawn our ghast. <laughs> Let's try a blaze. Because they tend to stay on the ground. They're still considered flying. So notice what's happening here. This gun, it's not firing at these blazes. I think that's because they're on the ground. Yeah, see, 1C kind of comes up like that. This anti-air gun right here doesn't seem to want to be firing. I'm not really sure why. Is it because there's already an anti-air gun firing at it? Can only one anti-air gun... Nope. So this anti-air gun, it's not firing. I don't really know why. Because um, you saw that that anti-air gun was perfectly fine to shoot at it. But uh, this one, upside down one right here, it doesn't seem to want to be doing that. It, see, it's tracking him, but it's not actually shooting any of, the, any of its scrap at him. It's very odd. So I don't really know what's going on there. But... Uh, Anti-air guns, man. They're pretty darn cool. Yeah. It, it appears the anti-air gun will track targets uh, on the other that are slightly obscured by blocks, and it will try and fire at them, but the scrap will hit the blocks. But yeah, that's the anti-air gun. It's pretty darn cool. It's pretty impressive. Looking. It will shoot at uh, flying mobs um, as long as they are above or at its current like level. Oh no, it does. It is shooting at uh, below it. But as soon as the mob touches the ground, it it, uh, it quits shooting because it's no longer uh, flying. Apparently. All right. So yeah, that's the anti-air gun. Much cheaper than the rail gun, but a bit more specialized. Not quite as universally awesome. Much cheaper ammunition though. So yeah, that's the anti-air gun. So, what are we talking about in the next episode? Well, let's take a look. Do -do -do. Oh yeah, look at that! We're talking about the railgun next, yeah. <laughs> look forward to that. The railgun is nuts. It's pretty awesome. So yeah, next episode we're going to talk about the railgun. And you, I might see that Thursday, maybe Friday, but... Yeah, railgun, next episode. Don't miss it. So yeah, I'm Sentinel H. I hope you've enjoyed this episode, and I'm signing out.